Hey, it's Dr. B, and I'm here with Pink, and um, what does that say? Connection available. I don't know if this is recording or not. Hopefully it is. It says that it's live. Okay, so I'm here today for a quick little email. And, email. I'm here today for a quick little video to talk to you about wins and celebrating wins, big and small, and why it's so important. So... One of the reasons I think it's important, and if you are a podcast listener of mine at Living Beyond ADHD, you hear about wins in every episode. I talk about them, I insist on them, I tell you to celebrate them, and really amp it up with oohs and ahs and all this stuff. Why? Why is it so important? Well, from some of the research over the years that I've looked at, Articles have talked about the fact that somewhere around 75% of the information that we get exposed to, that we think about, that is around us, bombarding us on a daily basis, that roughly 75% of that is negative. So if 75% of what you're bathing in every day is negative, then you need wins and you need lots of them and you need them to be intense and powerful, big and small, because you got to at least break even and be able to give yourself positives and wins and things that are good about you and things that are good that you've done, both the human being as well as the human doing that I talk about in my podcast show, because it's important to at least break even and be neutral. And why is that important? Well, I'm gonna tell you a short little story because I'm keeping this video short tonight because I'm teaching tonight and the day got away from me a little bit, but I wanted to show up because I'm committed to showing up, so I'm gonna do it in a brief. So, roughly about almost seven years ago, I became the facilitator organizer for a meetup group that supports adults with ADHD in my area. And it was not too long after I took over the group that someone came to the group and it was their first meeting and they listened and I was getting a teaching about wins, big and small, what they are, celebrating them and after the meeting they came up to me and said you know i've never heard about wins before can you tell me where i can read about it more learn about it more and i said at that time because it's about seven years ago yeah you can learn about it here because this is my philosophy that we need to pay attention to what's good about us and that's the human being we need to pay attention to what's good about us, that we're kind, we have a sense of humor, we, you know, are loyal friends, you know, we are good in our families or the things, you know, as a person, the being, the essence. This is a win, you know, it's a win to be a good person, to be kind, to be compassionate, to be empathetic, to be that. It's not a doing. It's who you are. It's the essence of you. That's a win. That's something you can celebrate every single day because it's like I talk about in my podcast show, in Living Beyond ADHD, the idea of you're a thousand percent every single day if you look at your value as a human being, not a human doing. Every single day that you wake up, you're a thousand percent. You're fine. Your self-esteem is here, your self-value is here, if you take your value and rate your value as a human being, not the doing. If you rate it on a doing, it fluctuates. You have good days, bad days, all that stuff, and it's gonna fluctuate. And if you put your self-esteem and your self-worth based on that, then your self-worth and self-esteem is gonna fluctuate up and down. So back to that meeting, the first meeting. So this person comes to the meeting, they come up after the meeting, they talk to me about wins, I tell them where they can learn more about it is keep coming back to the meetup group, so they do. 
And they left that meeting and they made a decision that based on what they heard about wins and the way I described wins, like the doing part of a win might be, maybe you found a buck on the ground, you know? Maybe someone smiled at you. Maybe something really sweet happened. There's so much that happens in life that's a win every single day if we pay attention to it, if we notice it. And if we don't, then I guess we miss out on a ton of wins that really can counterbalance that 75% of negativity. And we really need that every single day in our life. So this person went away, came back the following week, and sure enough, like they told themselves they would, they came back with wins to share with the group, just like we all did at the beginning of each meeting, is we shared our wins and we went around the room and everybody did that. So this person came back and shared their wins and they had like two or three wins and they weren't insignificant things. They were really nice wins because there's no insignificant wins. And everything that they shared that they said was a win, they were excited about. And they were determined that they were gonna go away and come back to the next meeting and have even more wins to share and more wins to celebrate. Which sure enough, they continued to do week after week after week after week. And then it became year after year and they continued to do this. And lo and behold, their life changed. What did it change from? It changed from, I didn't know this when they came to the meeting, when they came to the meeting the very first time, because they told me this after, later on, as a member of the group, when they came to the very first meeting, they came there and they were feeling suicidal and they didn't have hope and they didn't feel like things were gonna work out for them and they really didn't know what they were going to do. And somehow the universe guided them to come to the meeting, the topic was wins, they heard about wins. It was doable for them, even as depressed as they were. They came back the next week and spent that whole week in between looking for wins and celebrating wins with themselves. And then they came to celebrate wins with us. And this grew inside of them. And they're no longer suicidal. And it didn't take long for them to stop feeling suicidal and to stop feeling that they had no hope and that things weren't gonna work out for them because they saw that if they just paid attention to what was really going on around them and how life was, there was a lot of good. There was a lot of good in them. There was a lot of good in other people. And even though situations were difficult, that was temporary. And that's how it turned out. So to me, I didn't go into all the details of the person's story. It's not that important in that sense. What's important is for me, what I learned that night and in weeks to come was just how important sharing the idea of wins and celebrating wins is for people because there could be people, you out there who are gonna watch the replay or hear live they really could use a win, really could use something that's quick and easy to look for what's right in you, what's right in your life, sorry, and what the good is. And stop just focusing on the negative or being overwhelmed by the negative. And focus on the good because what we focus on grows. And if you focus on the negative, you're gonna get more of it. If you focus on what's good about you, what your strengths are, that's gonna grow. And if someone who comes to a meeting like this individual did comes in hopeless, suicidal, and in a very short time, maybe a month or so, they're not like that and their life is already changing and they have a better attitude and they don't feel hopeless, even though not a lot of significant things in their life have changed, what changed was their attitude, what changed was their perspective, what changed was the idea that there is a win waiting to be noticed every single day if you just pay attention. That's what I have for you today. Sorry that the video is a little bit crazy and the thing is moving around because it wasn't stable and Pink bumped into it and I apologize. I'll be back tomorrow with another topic. 
but I hope you consider celebrating win tonight. It's a simple thing. Look for what's good. Look for what's right with you, with your life, with the people around you. Look at the good. Look what's right. Stop focusing on the negative and watch your life change. That's what I have for you. It's Dr. B. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye now.